Lol. Harry constantly read available script and travelist clip with word salads lashing out at tourists. Prince Harry's made a surprise appearance by video link at the annual general meeting of ecotourism firm Travelist. The Duke of Sussex, who's the company's founder, made a virtual appearance at the meeting from his home in Montecito, California, where he told bosses that it was crucial the travel industry did better by local communities in vacation destinations. He's just as shameless as his wife, showing his face at a Travelist event, while he and his wife jet around in private jets and go around in convoys of gas-guzzling SUVs. He told the board, Travel and tourism relies on destinations held together by communities, without which we have nowhere to travel to. Communities are the beating heart of travel and we must do better by the people who are the custodians of the places we visit. Harry's address comes as a surprise after rumours circulated last year that the prince had relinquished his role with Travelist after the company announced it had entered an incredibly exciting era, with no mention of the royal. The hypocrisy is astounding, lashing out at tourists. This from a man who travels in private planes wherever possible and stays at luxurious resorts. Harry slammed for his word salad sayings. He sounds like an uneducated fool who's trying to remember the bullshit that Meghan Markle ordered him to say. He spent three years as the public face of the initiative to encourage the tourism industry to become more sustainable, despite a furore over his use of private jets. In the same year of Travelists' launch, he and Meghan faced intense criticism after reportedly taking four private jet journeys in 11 days. The Duke defended himself at the time, saying no one's perfect, and that what's important is what we do to balance out negative effects. Harry flew to the Netherlands on a commercial plane for the launch event in Amsterdam, having spent three years working on the initiative, which was founded along with brands including Booking.com, Skyscanner, TripAdvisor, Trip.com and Visa. At this point, he should just shut up about travel. What an embarrassment to himself he is. Very entitled about travelling to places instead of his focus, before of travelling in a sustainable manner. If he wants to do well by the people who he refers to as custodians, perhaps he needs to stop travelling by private jet so much. Moreover, Harry needed two takes for his 1 minute 17 pre-recorded travel video. Eagle Eyes found out that it's 1 minute 17 seconds. He changes clothes at 51 and splices, poorly, the video to create his recorded message. Was it too taxing to get it in one? What a joke, he's literally just reading a script and still doing a poor job. You can see him looking down at his script the entire time, he stumbles over a couple of words and there's odd emphasis on random words. This is also peculiar and amateur, his delivery's awful, it's like a lecture with angry tones. It looks rushed and careless. Too bad that he can't have someone else do the work for him, like he did for his A-level art class. Oh, I forgot, don't they supposedly only work like an hour a day? Maybe his hour was up for the day, so he filmed the second part for an hour the next day. That's the reason for the outfit change. Couldn't even be bothered to wear the same outfit for consistency. Not very professional.